Hi, I'm Mark Andrian, and today we are going to trace back some of the most significant advances in science and technology under former President Pinigno Simeon Aquino III's administration and look closely how it impacts the nation and the economy. The presidency of Benigno Aquino III, also known as the Nine Aquino administration, began on June 30, 2010 when he became the 15th president of the Philippines, succeeding Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. He is the third youngest person to be elected president who bears the slogan, Tuwid na daan and kayo ang bosko. During his administration, he initiated the formation of DICT or the Department of Information and Communications Technology with the touch agencies of NTC, National Privacy Commission, and the Cybercrime Investigation and Coordination Center. It is responsible for planning, development, and promotion of countries' information and communications agenda. Next, we also have the Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013 that introduces two additional years of education, providing students sufficient time for mastery and preparing graduates for tertiary education that is now known as the K-12 program. It was also under his administration that the controversial RH Responsible Parenthood and Reproductive Health Act of 2012 was signed, a measure that provides Filipinos with reproductive health information, services, and care necessary to planning and raising family in a responsible and safe manner. Next, we also have the creation of e trike that are now on streets as the modern tricycles that are powered with electricity for lower energy consumption. The UP Diliman Automated Gateway Transit System or UPAGT. It is constructed for technology demonstration within the campus of UP that will serve as a test track for the first mass transit system to be built and developed in the country by local engineers. The Diwata One. The first satellite of the venture and also a part of the DOSC Philippine Scientific Earth Observation Microsatellite or Phil Microsat program which was initiated in December 2014 by the government agency. Diwata is the nickname of the program named after a Filipino mythological character Diwata or fairy that expected to enable DOSD's Pag-asa to make accurate forecasts and weather monitoring that is crucial in agriculture. And speaking of weather monitoring, Project NOAA or the Nationwide Operational Assessment of Hazard is the DOSD's response to the call of President Aquino for a more accurate, integrated, and responsive disaster prevention and mitigation system, especially in high-risk areas throughout the Philippines. The project will harness technologies and management services for disaster risk reduction activities offered by the DOSD through PAGASA, FIBOX, and the DOSD Advanced Science and Technology Institute or ASTI. Connected, Moses Tab is a tablet capable of receiving real-time weather information and flood reports from the DOSD and PAGASA that constitutes to the damaging effect of Typhoon Yolanda and Ondoy during Pinoy's past administration. From technological advancement, let us now go on with science. During Pinoy's administration, Filipino innovators created the Mosquito OL Trap System that given freely by the DOST as a dengue prevention kit to the people. It was also because of the severe dengue outbreak that the Mvaksha vaccine was formulated and then given shots freely to children. It is a vaccine that prevents dengue with Dengvaksha that is licensed and available in some countries for people ages 9 to 45, including the Philippines. The World Health Organization says it never gave a recommendation to the Philippines and other countries to use the world's first dengue vaccine in their national immunization programs. WHO outlined a series of considerations national governments should take into account in deciding whether to introduce the vaccine based on a review of available data at the time, along with possible risk. Within Aquino's six years of administration, many technological advances in science and technology had been made. It is noteworthy that his main focus is infrastructure, tourism, and eradicating of poverty with his programs such as For Peace, Pabahay, and the Free Tertiary Education Program. He also awarded four distinguished scientists such as Academians Kevino Citrona, 
Angel C. Alcala, Ramon C. Barba, and Edgardo D. Gomez. As they were confirmed the rank and title of national scientists by the presidential virtue of Malacanang Proclamation Numbers 737, 782, 783, and 843 on 2014 at the Malacanang Palace. It is in recognition of their outstanding works and contribution to science and technology in the country. To top it up, some of Aquino's landmark legislation are highly significant to different sectors that help to shape the community we have today. His competitiveness and strategy put the country in a greater perspective in the economy and the developments are goal-driven, especially with the disaster preparedness program he established. The impact of this advancement in science and technology are beneficial, especially in our growing economy, where Filipino workforce are our greatest advantage. May this progress, both in times of 2010 to 2016, be a ladder in our continual pursuit for development. <laughs>